This is Dr. Brian Prax, and I've got some research. Some of it's old research, and some of it's, it's new, but this is in regard to the flu vaccine and vitamin D deficiency. That's D like dog. I'm going to include the link here. This is, this is an article basically studying research articles by Dr. Joe, uh, Joseph Mercola. Um, and he goes through several studies on the deficiency of D. This is the way I learned it, and this is the way I remember it, and you can as well. D, vitamin D, is, is most, most often um, converted from sunlight. So most Americans, myself included, are under a roof all the time, so we're not having the opportunity to get out and get in the sun and you know chop, chop wood and till in the ground and the, and the garden and all that. So that's where we're intended to get D is outside. Fortunately, it's very easy to supplement with D. You just go down to pretty much any store. We have it here. Um, you can get it at Whole Foods. You can get it at Amazon. You can, of course, you can get everything at Amazon. And you can get it um, you know, anywhere. It's cheap and it's very, very good. Um, so vitamin D deficiency can lead to depression. D deficiency, depression. It can lead to anxiety. And it can lead to depressions in the immune system and a ton of other stuff as well but what I wanted to talk to you today is about this study vitamin D is more effective than the flu vaccine do you get the flu vaccine did you know that there that the flu vaccine is not very reliable and that's a whole different topic but it doesn't really protect us that well it's basically a guessing game they're trying to guess on the flu strains that are going to come through they're taking a guess and putting as many of these strains into this vaccine as they can. But oftentimes, by the time we get the vaccine, those strains have already altered, changed, they've already mutated into something different, and therefore the vaccine is not gonna help you. So they're not really that effective. But this first study right here actually found that, where does that say, vitamin D works better than flu vaccine if your levels are low. They found that the, the vitamin D supplementation is 10 times more effective than the flu vaccine. Wow, so that's something you definitely wanna make, make sure you supplement with. You're gonna to wanna to get with your doctor on that and ask for a D uh, lab. They're pretty easy to do. It doesn't usually come up, it doesn't usually come up on your yearly annual uh, examination and lab studies. So you wanna ask your doctor, can you, can you test my D? This is what I tell my patients though. Now, I'm not giving medical advice. I'm just saying this is what I tell my patients is if, if they're not outside, you know, like somebody who trims trees or a gardener or whatever, if they're not outside and they're under a roof, I actually tell them to increase their D. We go 5,000 to 10,000 international units of vitamin D daily for a month, and I have them cut it back to 5,000 or 2,000. I mean, I literally have them increase their D first and ask questions later. Increase that D and then study later, right? It's that important. So that's the lesson for today. I will include this article. It's got a lot of great things um, uh, in this study. It's got several articles in this study as well, lots of different articles. So I hope that helps and read the article, give me some feedback. Love hearing from you and uh, we'll talk soon. Thank you for watching this video. If you like the content, I would ask you to hit the thumbs up button to like it. You can share it with a friend, subscribe to my channel, and please comment below. I will read it and I will respond. Thank you and have a nice day.